like it. We almost need like some background music for this. I wish I could sing. Alright, which way are we going to go? The guys are going to move. So just hold on one second because this is going to be... I'm already so excited I can't even tuck. So there's a car in front of us that's just deciding. They're deciding what they want to do. So as soon as they move, then we're going to be in. And again, if you've got any song from The Lion King, this is the time to play it and just hear it in the background. It's that good. <laughs> Luckily for me, Lou is singing it in my ear. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. I want to start crying. <laughs> Well done, Senzo. Now let's get to the lions and you can do that again. Woohoo. <gasps> what a sight, guys. What a sight. All right, Senzo, this is your time to shine and to sing. Do you need me to go forward? All right. Hang on. Positioning of the car with the roof, not the easiest one. More? Alright, sorry guys, like I said, definitely worth it. Waiting for all of this. Senza, if you want to start singing, this is your cue. Oh, this is so special to see all of them on top of a turbine mount. I don't think I've seen lions on top of a turbine mount in a very long time. What a stunning view. What a stunning view. I'm just so thrilled this is. And they're all looking quite sleepy and who knows, maybe, <laughs> maybe they're tired of having their paws wet. That looks like the face of a very unimpressed kitty. Are you tired of being wet? Oh, that is... wow. Yeah, you might be jealous of the roofs, as Slew says. I'm sure it's probably the case. I think they've actually just gotten tired of getting getting wet and walking through all the grass, because they've chosen one very bare spot. And they're all... I can count four heads from here. Oh, aren't you guys pretty? Look at you, all sleeping tucked in. On top of that termite mound. It is wonderful. Oh, so sweet. This is, I think this has got to be one of my favorite views of them. Wigwam Sam, you're wondering if we have no fear of the big cats pouncing on the car. Well, in this particular area, no. The the lions that we see here, they've all been seeing cars since they were cubs, and they're all used to us coming around and moving around. So moving and approaching them and just making noises and smelling the way that we do. So you see, actually, when we got here, they might have just been like, oh, what's going on? And then they've carried on sleeping. So they're absolutely not bothered by us. They're not being sneaky or try to get to us. They just really don't care. Look at that face. That face <laughs> says, I'm not really bothered. I want your roof. I don't want to be wet anymore. But even if they were to come down of the turmoil mound, often they would walk around us and just walk straight past the car and be fine. I have had experiences though with uh, particular, it was male lions, it was the uh, Nwatsitsaka males that came from Kruger when I used to work further south from in this reserve. <laughs> Look at all their little wet hairs that um, they hadn't seen as many vehicles and they hadn't seen people or trackers in the front of the vehicle so those particular lions were a bit grumpy around cars so we had to give them quite a fair amount of space and whenever we approached the w whenever we approached them then the trackers would come back into the seat and then eventually with as the months carried on they became a little bit more relaxed but then they went back into Kruger and we didn't see them again those males were massive male lions, but that's the only cases, and they will still see a lot of car and tourist cars around Kruger, so they already had a, a notion, a perception of what the cars are and how to deal with them. But I mean, <laughs> I just want to go and cuddle with all of them in that pile of lions, which probably would get me eaten, but one can dream.
Stanley times three, you're wondering if it's warmer on top of the mound. Well, it could be, but I don't think it would be significantly warmer. We know that hot air rises and cold air stays below, but I doubt that that is high enough to warrant much of a temperature difference. I think they're just up there because it's a, a drier spot. There isn't, it's not as wet on the on top of the termite mount as it is all around us. And the good thing is big of enough uh, termite mount just to make sure that everyone's <laughs> fits in there. Oh, what a pretty view of this line is. You're so pretty. And they're all so sleepy, all of them. Oh. I see another head tilting up. Look at all the rain. So you can appreciate now just how much water we've had and how the elements are always something to bear in mind for all the wildlife. Not only do they have to hunt their own food and go after them, but also they've got to be out here in the rain and just pretty much endure it. Today hasn't been that bad because it hasn't been pouring down, but I think <laughs> that little grumpy face that we were talking about cats having <laughs> when they get rained upon. It's almost like, like oh, why me? It's a tragedy being wet, isn't it? Such a pretty lion face. I think this is warming my heart up. <laughs> Look at all those ears. Beautiful. Stacy, you're wondering if it's just the cubs and no adults around. Well, I was actually wondering the same thing myself because I don't know if there are some more on the other side of the mound. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a chance as I keep some of them at least tilting their head up. And then we're going to go see. If it's just the cubs, it could mean that the mothers have gone around hunting and they've left them behind while they've, they've moved off. Like I said, I can only count four heads. I don't know if maybe some more of them are in the vicinity or if some more are um, just on the other side of the mound. I think it's a bit of a mystery that we'll have to solve in the next few minutes. But for now, I think we can enjoy this view of all of them. Proud cat mama, you're wondering how old these lions are. Well, not 100% sure, but they are probably heading on to just over a year. Now, everybody out there that's got a proper age of them can help me out using the hashtag Safari Live and just let us know exactly how old they are. I'm gonna say probably about a year and a half. As I was here in May when I first saw them, and they were already about eight months old. So, I'm gonna guess somewhere around there. And there are three tiny new additions onto this pride. However, those ones are still very small and being kept in very close vicinity to its mother. Um, just because they are so small. So they are <laughs> about a third, if even, of the size of this ones that we're looking at right now. I think maybe let's try going around. Charlene, uh, you're saying that Senza and I have gotten very lucky and that you're happy we got to see the lions. Us too, very much so, especially on top of a termite mound, which is not something that you get to see every day. I'm going to go around and see if maybe there are some more lions on this side. Um, not too sure how I'm going to get there. But we are also very happy that we're able to share the sighting with everyone. No, I think maybe the roof upsets them a little bit. No more lions here. Mm, no, it's just the four youngsters here on top of this turbine mount. I can't see any more lions anywhere else. Just these guys over here who are now looking at us with a very unimpressed face. Because I'm sure they didn't want us to wake them up, but they've carried on sleeping which is always what we want. We want them to carry on doing their own thing. Now, I wonder where the females have gone off to, because the tracks clearly led here, or led us here, and that's the why Aubrey found them. Rex did mention that there were tracks for two males heading 
heading west and crossing out of Juma. So I wonder if maybe some of them have actually gone all the way to to pass the boundary and they're just looking for food or if they're somewhere around here. Hmm. It wouldn't be uncommon for female lions to or lionesses just to leave their cubs behind while they go off hunting.